This video is specifically about renting a bike in Bali. However, it's pretty much the same anywhere in the Far East. I've been renting bikes in the Far East and other places around the world as well for probably the last 23 years. Um, it transforms your holiday. If you've got a bike that you can just go out on, go to without having to book a taxi or go on an excursion, you've got so much freedom. It's something I would recommend to anybody. This year, however, it's been a little bit different. The way that I normally go about it is I'll land, I'll either speak to somebody at the villa where we stay and I'll ask them where to rent from, or if we're in New Sadua, I'll probably just walk out into the town, uh, find somewhere and rent a bike. I like to do that face-to-face -face haggling to get the price down as well, so that's something that really suits me. Plus, I also get to see the bike before I hand the money over. However, last year something happened that's never happened on all of my travels and rides. Um, we, had a, we had an accident, it was a really bad accident. We were going down the road in, in North Bali in Lavina, which is where I am now, and uh, a car pulled up alongside us. I can only presume that there was something coming towards it because when it was up alongside us, it just came into, I had nowhere to go. Uh, we went down, I had three broken ribs, all this side had the, um, the Bali tattoo on, you can still see some there and on my shoulder. It took about four weeks to heal, and the wife, her knees were absolutely ruined, uh, and it was, um, it was a bit of a wake-up call. So since then, we've been to um, we've been to Thailand a couple of times. I'm much more aware now when I'm on the bike. In saying that, if you ever come to North Bali, there's something about the roads in North Bali. They're not anything like in the south. In the south, you've got plenty of space, and even though there's much, much more traffic, lots of bikes, lots of cars, everybody just looks out for each other, and there's lots of space on the roads. What I found as soon as I started driving in Lavina last year is, there is no space on the roads. If you're on the bike on the road, even if you're over on the left-hand side, if a car's going to overtake you, it's got to go into the oncoming traffic. And if you're driving down the road, if there's two cars and one's overtaken, you've literally got a car on the whole side of the road coming at you and you've got to be really over on your left. So you have to have your wits about you in North Bali. Anyway, so, so that made hiring a bike this year a little bit different. As I said, normally I'll go into town and I'll find a bike shop or I'll uh, contact somebody before we come over. I'll, I'll normally do it that way. This time, because I had to pay on the damages to the bike last year, which was um, over a hundred pound, I got in touch with uh, the villa manager, and they gave me a contact at a company called Bike Ago, which is actually also in Phuket as well. But it does cover the whole of um, the whole of Bali, and what it'll do is it'll drop the bike off at your villa or your hotel, and it'll pick it up as well. Now we've stayed at three villas on this holiday, so I didn't drop it off on the day after we arrived at the first villa. And then I've got the same bike all the way through, and that's gonna get picked up on the last full day that we're here in the evening. I also wanted to make sure that I had insurance this time as well, as I said, because I paid out last year. And I wanted to make sure that the bike was 100%. Now, since the accident, I, I have hired bikes in Phuket, um, and there's a lovely guy that I hire the bikes from, it's called Paul from, uh, from South England. I've had some great bikes off him. In fact, I'd, this is um, a, a Yamaha N-Max, but I had an X-Max off him, which was about 300cc. It was like driving a Honda Goldwing. It was, it was a fantastic bike. But back to this. So before we came out, I went onto the Bike Go website. I chose the bike that I wanted. Well, I didn't do because I wanted, the, I wanted the bike for three weeks and they didn't have the 2022 PCX for three weeks so I had to go with this uh, Yamaha N-Max. Now I've had the N-Max before, it's a good bike, 155cc so I was happy to go with it but I did want the PCX. But online you get all the options, um, how long do you want the bike for, where do you want it dropping off, where do you want it picking up from, do you want insurance, do you want this, do you want that, you can get an e or a couple of e-sims thrown in as well. So it was really, really easy to organise. Uh, it was dropped off within half an hour of the drop-off time that I'd, I'd arranged. 
and the bikes in very good condition. One of the other things that I'll say as well is we we bring helmets away with us because if you hire a bike when you're aware, you, you tend to get a helmet that's full of sweat, probably stinks, is old, um, just not nice. So we bought some helmets um, the first year that we were away in Bali. And I've also got some uh, intercoms as well, so they're, they're on the, when you're driving around, these are an absolute game changer. Just to be able to have the conversation with whoever's on the back, in this case, it's either my wife or one of the kids. Uh, but yeah, an absolute game changer, superb, really, really. Biggest recommendation I can give you, get some helmets, but get an intercom as well. I'll put the link into the video that I did about the accident. But really, in North Bali, just, just be careful. The roads aren't like anywhere else in Bali. Um, and I'm talking main roads, not, not the ones that weave the way up hills and things like that. I'm talking the main beach road is not a good road. If we just have a quick look round it. Right, okay, so let's have a look at this. This is what was dropped off. It's the M Max 155cc. It's bigger than a normal bike, uh, which means it's actually comfier to drive because the weight and the suspension is better. There's not much to say about it, really. Uh, it's been maintained well. It's got about 7,000 kilometres on the clock. It's a bike that's very enjoyable. If you've got a pillion passenger, there's plenty of room. Nice, safe bike. So, yeah. So that's it in summary. There's quite a few ways to hire a bike. If you're at all wary of doing it, then definitely for Bali, anywhere in Bali basically, you can go to the Bikergo website, you can choose exactly what you want, all the add-ons that you want, they'll drop it off, they'll pick it up. You know that the bike's going to be well maintained, they'll do the helmets. One thing I really like about this is you've got um, a fast charging phone holder as well. So you're gonna to need to be using Google Maps or something like that. And this is the first time that I've actually had something like this on the bike. And instead of my wife having it hung round her neck and keep having a look at it, I can just see what's on there. The other villa that we went to is about 40 miles down the road. And it was so easy to find it just by looking down at the phone. If you don't wanna go with bike a go, I get it. It's not the cheapest. For 22 days, this has cost me over 300 pounds. Normally, I've been looking at about $10 a day, maybe slightly more. So I've paid, with all the insurance and everything, over £300. It's a lot more than what I'd normally pay. But as I say, just staying in North Bali and Lavina, I was very worried about the roads. I'm, I'm back on track with it now. I've, all the mirrors are sorted. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know to anticipate what's coming, when to pull over, when to let things pass. So I'm OK with that. But yeah, bike a go. They've sorted me out with the bike, they've been really good. I suppose one of the benefits of having a big company like that is because we tend to go all over the island. If we were in Nusa Dua, we'd be going uh, past Obud, up into the rice fields. So you're talking over two hours away from your hotel. If you've got a local independent bike hire company, they might not have the resource to come out and help you if anything happens, if it breaks down, if you're that far out. If you're with Bike Club, because they've got representatives all over Bali, I'm sure it'd be a lot easier. But whether it's Bike or Go, whether it's a local independent, I do like haggling with the local independents. I've always had good bikes. I don't have an issue, uh, say so it's just this time. I just wanted to get it all organised on the net before I came out. So bike a go, big recommendation, but if you want to go for an independent, uh, definitely do that, especially if you're in the south of the island.